In this video, we are going to learn about how we can create different queries around Solana Radium Dex using BitQuery ID. All the saved query links and BitQuery Telegram channel link will be in the description. Navigate to id.bitquery.io and register first as a developer to get free points to run queries. I have already done that so I am going to directly jump on the query examples involving Radium Dex. You guys should use this query builder on the left. It's a very nice tool to create queries very easily. We are going to see two example queries around Radium Dex. First one will be get latest liquidity pools created on Radium Dex in real time. The second one will be get Radium OHLC data for a specific pair in real time. Make sure this is selected as EAP. EAP is our early access program. In the first query, we are getting latest liquidity pools created on Radium Dex in real time. Select Solana, then select instructions, and under that, we need to put where condition to filter for a method named as initialize user with nuns. Initialize user with nuns is the method to create new pools. And also we need latest created pools for radium. So we also need to specify program address as the 675k address, which is the radium v4 address. We are also filtering transactions on the basis of their success. So we have to set the transaction result success true. Now we are going to select attributes we need info about. So we need info on latest created liquidity pools, right? So firstly, we are going to select block and under that time and date. By this, we are capturing when the pool was created. And then we also need transaction signature to look the transaction on soul scan. Now we are going to select instruction and under that we are going to select ancestor indexes, caller depth and then select depth and then data and external SQL number and internal SQL number and index and then select account and under account we need to select address and also is it writable or not and also we need to select the token info then select call path and if you need and you can also select the logs. It's on you to decide which info you need. Then select program and under that account names, method, JSON, name and to get the arguments to the specified method, we need to select arguments and under that type, name and value. These seven type of arguments are possible. So we need to select each one of those. You can run the query and see the latest created pools and in this response, fifth entry in the account address is pool address and ninth and tenth and tenth entries are the two pool tokens. This is the fifth entry and this is the pool address. These are the two pool tokens. Now moving on to the second query, we are getting data on Radium OHLC for a specific pair. OHLC stands for open, high, low and close. We are going to select Solana and then Dex trade by tokens. And under that we need to set our order by to descending in accordance with block time. We also need wear condition and in that we are specifying our pair for which we need to calculate the OHLC. By selecting trade currency, mint address as 6D7N1 address and also the site currency mint address as the SO111 address we are selecting our trading pair and then we also need to specify our DEX program address as the 675k address which is the Radium V4's address and now we are going to select our attributes we need info about firstly we are going to set block time interval as 15 seconds when we want to aggregate data we use interval argument and now we are getting volume by summing of trade amount now we are getting trade details by selecting trade and under that amount currency details and account address of the buyer and then price of the currency against the side currency and now we are going to select side currency details by selecting side and under that currency and then name symbol and mint address and then its amount and then we are getting high low open and close prices for highest and lowest price in the time interval we are doing maximum and minimum of trade price respectively and for open and close we are taking prices where block slot was minimum and maximum respectively because open price is the price from the first trade in this specified block slot and close price is the price from the last trade in this specified block slot. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe and head over to our telegram channel if you have any questions.